There are three primary kinds of automatic doors. Swinging doors that utilize low energy automatic operators or high energy automatic operators, and sliding doors. In a nutshell, a low energy automatic operator is hardware used to open, hold open, and close a swinging door on doors where pedestrian traffic is light to moderate. Low energy automatic operators must comply with ANSI BHMA A156.19, the recognized industry standard. This standard establishes several requirements on how a low energy automatic operator performs. First, a low energy automatic operator must open and close a door slowly. It must take at least four seconds to fully open a typical door. Also, A156.19 requires low energy automatic operators to hold a door open for a minimum of five seconds. And it must take at least four and a half seconds to close a typical door. These opening and closing time requirements increase as the weight and size of the door increases and are defined in A156.19. In addition, A156.19 requires that whatever triggers the opening of the door must be a knowing act. In other words, a person must consciously initiate the opening of the door. This is to protect individuals passing through or near an opening from injury should a door open unexpectedly. In the industry, the activating device for an operator is commonly called an actuator. It is used to send the electronic signal to the automatic operator to trigger the opening. One of the most common actuators in use with low energy automatic operators is the push button, often available in many shapes and sizes. This knowing act requirement, however, means the use of a motion sensor, once commonly used with low energy automatic operators, does not meet the current standard. If a motion sensor is used with a low energy automatic operator, the operator must comply with the safety standards defined by the high energy standard, ANSI BHMA A156.10. What other actuators meet A156.19's Knowing Act requirement? There are touchless actuators that, with the wave of one's hand, within a field adjustable range of 2 inches to 20 inches, signal the operator to open a door. These touchless actuators are commonly used in hospital or clean room environments on openings that are used by employees only. Another knowing act actuator is a wireless handheld transmitter. These transmitters are often provided to individuals confined to wheelchairs who frequent or reside in a facility with low energy automatic operators. Wireless transmitters can also be attached to the back of standard wall mount actuators to avoid costly pulling of wires through the wall. Back to the standard, a156.19 also contains some additional requirements we will not address in this video. If you will be working with low energy automatic operators, we encourage you to get a copy of the standard. Let's talk for a few seconds about high energy automatic operators and sliding doors, referred to as power operated pedestrian doors by ANSI BHMA. These are typically used in openings with lots of people traffic. Think of the doors you pass through at large retail stores and at airport terminals. Because these doors open fast to accommodate lots of pedestrian traffic, and because these doors are not required to be actuated by a knowing act, the A156.10 standard includes very specific safety requirements, often involving things such as annual inspections, safety sensors, safety mats, guide rails, etc. All manufacturers of these high energy doors require installers and technicians to be certified to work on these openings. The certification is administered by the American Association of Automatic Door Manufacturers, known as ADAM. Low energy automatic operators are often installed on openings to make a building more accessible to individuals with disabilities. The Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, the federal civil rights law that requires public facilities to be accessible, defines what it means for an opening to be accessible. For more than the ADA, check out www.ada.gov. While nothing in the ADA mandates the use of automatic operators, low energy automatic operators are often the most effective way to meet the ADA accessibility requirements around opening force, closing speed, and maneuvering clearances. The latter is especially true in buildings constructed before the passing of the ADA in 1990 because these older buildings were not always designed with accessibility in mind. And for openings for which pedestrian traffic is light to moderate, Low energy automatic operators also provide convenience and assistance to individuals who are pushing strollers, delivering packages, moving equipment and supplies, carrying trays of food, loading and unloading merchandise, etc. By the way, the A156.19 standard 
describes the minimum performance standards. Most manufacturers, such as LCN, offer low-energy automatic operators with optional functionality to allow facilities to make their openings work for them in terms of accessibility, fire and life safety, access control, security, efficiency, and employee productivity. To watch more videos, visit our training page at www.allegion.com/us.